Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So, an unexpected video here in regards with the current situation on how social media is on fire regarding the new mini LED display on the 12.9 inch Apple iPad. People are calling it Bloomgate related to the blooming issue. So in this video, let's look at what that Bloomgate is in layman's terms and see how much of an issue it causes and decide whether if it's still a good idea to order that 12.9 inch M1 iPad Pro or should you actually wait or even cancel your pre-order. Just before proceeding guys, please do hit that subscribe button and support my channel so I can continue making these videos for you. Now, until social media brought this to my attention, I was totally oblivious about what this blooming issue was and I was totally enjoying the amazing XDR display on my new 12.9 inch M1 iPad Pro, which I had since 9.30 AM on launch day, which is the 21st of May. And with comments suggesting how bad it is and then that really bad picture from the internet, I started to read more about this and pay closer attention to the screen on my new iPad. So what's this blooming issue? I'll go in layman terms as this is how I wanted to understand this. See, standard LED screens which are on the other iPads including this older iPad Pro 2020 are backlit with about 70 LEDs and they adopt a procedure called global dimming. That means if the display gets brighter or darker, then the entire picture or video gets affected by it. Now, Apple does some amazing calibration, so colors still look vibrant on non-mini LED iPads as well. That's why they are touted as one of the best displays in the market. Then there is full array local dimming LED displays, which cranks up everything to the max with about thousands of mini LEDs spread across the entire screen and that allows to control different levels of dimming across multiple zones individually. The result gives you amazing contrast and blacks which truly look black and not as if a black which has a white glow over it. The full array local dimming LED display is also called as mini LED displays and this is what is in the new 12.9 inch M1 iPad Pro. So what is the issues with these kind of displays? Well, if you're watching some high contrast scenes in very dark rooms, then the tiny LEDs get as dark as possible to show you true black, whereas the bright ones get truly bright to give you that high contrast. Perfect example would be white text over black background. In such case, you see this blooming effect where some light from that white LEDs bleed onto the dark LEDs. It's technically light bleeding, but not around the corners as it generally is. But with this screen, you kind of see this bleeding effect everywhere on the display. You see this kind of a halo effect over white text. Now guys, I have to be honest here and tell you that what you're seeing is what my camera is seeing. Obviously the iPhone 11 Pro Max, which I'm using here to record has got a dark mode and it automatically adjusts for dark scenes. There is no way to turn it off. So I'm going to screenshot this exact thing and show you what my eyes are seeing. I also tried to get an older iPhone, which doesn't have this dark mode. I have the iPhone 5 here and this video is directly shot on that. And this kind of represents close to what your eyes are seeing. Moving on to HDR content. Let's try some dark scenes again. I made my room pitch black and turn the brightness on the iPad to max. Guys, it's really hurting my eyes watching in these conditions. So before I even show you what I see, these are not ideal conditions to watch and you'd probably never do this. Again, every test I run just reminds me of how amazing the XDR display is on the new iPad Pro compared to a non XDR one. I mean, see this nice, pure black borders without any distraction. And look at the iPad Pro 2020. It seems like someone is flashing a torchlight on those black borders. Every test I do, I end up liking the new display a little more. 
so much so that I'm actually hating it because 12.9 inch is not my ideal size for the iPad and the 11 inch model doesn't have this awesome screen. Coming to blooming effect, again, I can't really notice anything here. Everything looks amazing. I tried checking every corner, multiple scenes, maybe just a tiny bit when the contrast is very high and you have a bright colors mixed with dark background behind it but that's so minute that i don't even notice it unless i kept my eyes peeled onto that certain areas of the screen added to that just comparing both these displays the new one is so gorgeous that i don't notice that minute fraction of blooming effect at all again let's take this lg oled video which is really amazing way to test the darks and brights I want to show you how my camera makes this worse because look at this. My camera is clearly picking up a white hue around the borders. But I swear guys, this is not what my eyes are seeing. Here's a screenshot which shows exactly what my eyes are seeing. And here's a video clip from my iPhone 5 which doesn't apply any kind of dark mode effects on the clip. So in conclusion, Every test I ran made me like the new display that bit more and it really is truly amazing. So you can go ahead and buy this iPad with full confidence if you need that bigger 12.9 inch screen and you won't be disappointed. I only wish Apple offers this in the 11 inch screen size as well. That would be awesome, but maybe next year. So guys, I mean, that social media posts, obviously, that looks really exaggerated and like I showed you, that's what my camera is picking up but my eyes are just seeing like how the screenshot shows. So this really is not a concern guys. The display is amazing. Apple, you've really done amazing work here and please do offer that in the 11 inch screen size as well. So that's it guys. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe guys and support my channel so I can continue making these videos for you. And as always, thanks a lot for staying with me until the end. I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.